So in this video, I will be giving my honest review of my recent stay at Ocean Coral Spring Resort in Trelawney, Jamaica. This hotel is a member of H10 Hotels and in this video, I will be reviewing the sleeping rooms, food, amenities, entertainment, and sharing if I think it's really worth it for the price. This video is not sponsored and everything shared in this video is just a reflection of my personal opinion. I will also be sharing my top tips that you can take advantage of in order to improve your stay. So if you're interested in traveling to Jamaica soon and considering this resort, definitely keep watching. Let's first talk about arrival and security. When you drive up to the street, there are signs to direct you on which way to go. You are going to follow those signs all the way down the road and check in with security at the gate. This was one of the pros to staying at Ocean Coral Spring. The security is on point and we definitely felt that the location was safe and secluded. They only allow guests with the reservation into the resort. And when you get to the resort, there are security guards at every checkpoint to keep you safe. Once we got through the gate, we drove to the main entrance, which had a roundabout where you can park and unload your bags. Our bags were received by the hotel greeters and we went to check in at the lobby. Check in was very smooth and efficient. There wasn't a line at all. The lobby is massive, open, clean, and very modern. In the lobby, you'll also find a bar area a place to exchange your money, and a place to book any excursions. We really enjoyed taking pictures right below the airplane. We stayed in a Daisy Suite, which was located in the building directly behind the water park, which makes these rooms ideal for families with children. The room had a coffee bar, a modern bathroom, equipped with a stand-in shower, and a garden tub. Our room had two queen-size beds and a flat screen TV with different channels to choose from. There is also a seating area with a pull-out couch that featured some wine and fruit upon arrival. This also has a desk if you need to get any work done on your vacation and it opens up into a balcony overlooking the water park. I enjoyed the room overall. I just recommend bringing sanitizing wipes for high contact areas, such as the remote control and telephone, but they do come in during the day to tidy up your room, change your sheets, and switch out old towels. That was a plus because I know a lot of hotels and resorts stopped doing this type of service ever since the start of COVID, so it was a sweet surprise. There are different types of rooms available on their website, so if we ever return without the kids, I would definitely consider staying in one of the swim-up rooms. One thing I recommend taking advantage of during your stay here is the room service option. Complimentary room service lasts all the way up until 6 p.m. They have several different options such as burgers, pizza, fries, fruit, and more. Speaking of dining, there are many places to dine at the resort. One of the main restaurants is Martha's Market, which features international cuisine of all varieties. They are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all the restaurants close at 10 p.m. If you eat here for breakfast, I recommend trying the French toast, which was one of my favorites. Also get an omelet made fresh by one of the chefs or get freshly made eggs cooked to your liking. I didn't eat here for lunch, but for dinner, the Jamaican stewed chicken was my favorite. They also have La Laconda, which is an a la carte Italian restaurant, the Red Snapper, which is located on the beach with a warm tropical atmosphere and Caribbean flavors, Route 66, which specializes in American barbecue food, Sugarcane, which specializes in Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine, Tali, which is an Indian restaurant, which we tried and really enjoyed the chicken wings from here, then there was Jamaican Grill, where they serve jerk chicken, jerk pork, 
cocoa bread, and more. This was one of my favorites the entire weekend and is definitely a must try if you like spicy food. The line is usually long, but it's well worth the wait. Lastly, Sakura, which is a tapenyaki grill featuring show cooking. This is the only restaurant that requires reservations, but it's so worth it. The chefs are very entertaining and the food was good. It made the trip more memorable. At the time of making this video, reservations for this restaurant can be made at the piano bar. Be sure to show up early to reserve your spot because a line usually forms. After dinner, don't forget to stop and get some ice cream at the ice cream shop. They have several different flavors, but I tried the cookies and cream, which I enjoyed. There are tons of entertainment options on this resort, including bowling, showtime premieres, pianos for use, a spa, gym, several pools, the beach, a lazy river, and more. The Lazy River has a swim up bar which we took advantage of and I got myself a virgin pina colada while there. So definitely check it out and stop by for a refreshment. The beach is also nice with beach chairs and umbrellas for your use. There are also some hammocks in the water, but one of my complaints is that the hammocks were soiled with dirty water. These should be cleaned and changed out ever so often. It's a great aesthetic, but unfortunately we were unable to use this. There is also a boardwalk overlooking the ocean with great photo opportunities. If you don't like getting your feet sandy, but just want to take a walk on the beach to view the sights, take advantage of this feature. Overall, I enjoyed my stay and I definitely felt it was well worth the price. This is a very family friendly resort, but if you're looking for a romantic getaway with just you and your spouse, check out the adults only side of the property, which is Eden Bay. This is where my in-laws stayed, which is in short walking distance to where we stayed. If you stay at Eden Bay, you have access to everything covered in this video and more. For a more personal and inside look regarding my stay in Jamaica, check out my Jamaica vlog. I will not only be sharing some insights from our stay in Ocean Coral Spring, but also my experiences visiting other parts of the island. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be sharing more travel reviews and experiences in the near future. So if you enjoy this type of content, your feedback and support would be very much appreciated. Until next time, don't worry and be happy. Bye.